Thank you for joining this lesson. We're going to discuss mathematics paper 2, quadratic word problems number 20. At St. Ignatius, parents agreed to contribute equally towards the construction of a Form 4 class dormitory. The construction needed 2 million Kenya shillings to be completed. However, 40 parents did not contribute and instead they disappeared and closed their phones. As a result, the remaining parents were to contribute 2,500 Kenya shillings more upon the agreed amount of money. Part A, find the number of parents in the school. For us to find the original number of, uh, the number of parents in the school, we are first of all to let the original number, let the original number, original number of parents can be let to be N, so that the remaining now, the remaining number of, of, of parents now becomes N minus 40 parents who disappeared and lost their phones. Now we have a, another issue here, whereby they were to contribute a total of 2 million, which means there is an original contribution per parent as expected earlier. So original amount per person, original amount per parent, because they are all contributed 2 million, then they were to share equally and they were n. But now there is a new amount per parent. They still have to meet the budget of 2 million. But now they are fewer. n minus 40. We are told that uh, they had to contribute. 2,500 more, which means now the difference between what they are contributing now and what they would have contributed initially is differing by 2,500. So when we check the new amount per head, divided by n minus 40, and we subtract the original expected contribution per head, then you discover they would have, there is a difference of 2,500. And with this expression now, we can find the value of n, whereby I'm going to solve it just like any other fraction. Let me take the LCM to be n minus 40 into n. So when we solve this, we start by dividing LCM by the first denominator. So in this case, I'm dividing the LCM here by n minus 40, and that will give us n. So when we get n now, it will be the numerator multiplied by n minus Again, the numerator multiplied by when we divide n minus 40 into n by n, we'll get n minus 40. This is equal to when we divide the LCM by 1, it will remain the way it is. Therefore, we shall have 2500 zero zero multiplied by n squared minus 40n that is after you open the brackets for the lcm now we can do away with the lcm and we open brackets then group like terms together so i'll start by having a 200 2, 2 million n minus start again by 2 million n then plus 2 million by 40, that becomes 80 million. This is equal to 2500 n 
power 2 minus when we multiply 2500 by 40 we get 100,000 we get 100,000 so now we can group like terms together we can rearrange so that we may form a quadratic equation then we solve it for us to get the values of n so 2 million n and 2 million n will cancel out now we can start with the 25 n squared minus 100,000 n so this is n here 100,000 n equals to 80 million now we can solve this one as quadratic equation by the completing square method whereby the constant has to remain where it is then now we make the coefficient of h squared one by dividing through by 2500 this should be 2500 sorry so when we divide through by 2500 this is going to be the value will be exactly 40 so we shall have 40 n then this is equal to 80 million divided by 2500 that is going to be 32,000. now we have to add a constant at this point and also a constant at the other point such that uh, the left hand side becomes a perfect square and that means we need to add a constant c which is usually given by the value of b out of 2 squared so we need to take negative 40 over 2 squared that will give us negative 20 squared 400 so we are adding 400 now to both sides we can factorize the left hand side whereby we need for us to factorize the difference of two squares we just need the square root of the first part n the adjacent sign minus the square root of the constant 20 squared this is equal to 3 2 400 and now we can take square roots from both sides n minus 20 is equal to when we take square root for the right hand side we're going to get 180 so plus or minus 180 for us to remain with n we have to start with positive 180 plus 20 which is giving us 200 or the value of n negative 180 plus 20 being negative 160 and this will lead to us concluding that n equals to 200 now that we cannot have a negative number of people that is the original number of parents in this school this is to mean that now the remaining number of parents is going to be n minus 40 so the remaining parents now for this school is going to be 200 minus 40 which is 160 parents the parents are only 160. If 45 percent in part B of the value of construction was funded by the county government or by the county governor, calculate the amount of contribution that would be made by each of the remaining parents. If they fund 45 percent, that is the government, the, the governor, it means the parents will be contributing only 55, the remaining 55 percent. So 55% of 2 million. This is going to be 1 million 100,000 Kenya shillings. This is the amount they are going to contribute. And remember, they are uh, 160 parents. Therefore, by each of the remaining parents, then now we have to divide by 160 parents and this is going to give us exactly 6,875 Kenya shillings per parent and finally if 3x plus y equals to 17 find the value of 
we are first of all going to factorize 9x squared plus 6xy plus y. So let me get a parent, uh, uh, a product of uh, 9 times 1, that is AC, this will be 9, then a sum of B, which is 6. The terms are 3 and 3. This is suggesting that already the expression we have is a perfect square, but you can confirm that by having 9x squared plus 3xy plus again 3xy plus y squared. So we're going to have 3x into 3x plus y. Again, in the last two terms, we factorize y, whereby we shall again remain with 3x plus y. And now we can say 3x plus y into 3x plus y. And the value of 3x plus y is given as 17. So this is 17 times 17. And this will lead us to conclude that the answer is 289.